You are not the only one who has a lot of ideas about using a puppet when you buy one, only to find out in practice that your puppet often does the same thing, if it comes out at all. To help you, I want to show you a way in which you can involve your puppet in a variety of topics and also bring the outdoors inside. I often start with an object with something like this. My puppet says, look what I found and shows the object. He tells where he has been and you can subtitle yourself with images or footage, footage if you have them. I've been to the beach. Yes, it was windy and there were waves and the sun was shining. He also tells why he was there. On this beach there are always a lot of things blown off boats and washed ashore by the sea. Yeah, I like to go treasure hunting there. You know, looking for nice little things among, among the debris, for something you can still use or turn into something else, or something that, that piques your curiosity. So I found this. But I have no idea what it is. No. But don't you think it's beautiful? Look. It also has holes in it. And it looks like a turtle. Yeah, but it feels like wood. I don't know what it is. No, and that's why I bought it. To look at it together with you. Yeah, maybe you know. So you use your puppet to arouse curiosity and zoom in on a topic. The questions your puppet asks determine the direction the conversation goes. You decide that yourself and even in advance. Would you like to take a deep dive into how to involve your puppet in activities? Then subscribe to my newsletter or join my Puppet Power Pack, a treasure trove filled with useful insights to help you implement your puppet effectively. I'm here to help you. Thank <laughs> you.